Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. One of the big problems we come across very often as producers is getting voiceovers to cut across music. I'll show you how to do it really easily right now. So here we are inside Adobe Audition, and I'm going to use a brand new plugin from Isotope called Neutron, uh, which is a paid plugin well worth using to solve this issue alone. Head into multi-track and create a new session. Let's call it Voice Over Music. Now I'm just going to go back after I've done that to my untitled audio and start recording something. The best music only on Swan FM. Okay, so there's my voiceover. I might do a little bit to uh, normalize that up to its fullest potential. And uh, I won't add any compression or EQ on just yet. So there's the raw voice. The best music only on Swan FM. Now into the multi-track. Now you'll notice immediately if I go here and make this my voice track, let's name that voice. And here and make that my effects track and pop in a nice little bit of imaging there. Uh, you're going to find that the imaging will overpower the voice like crazy. And this is something we often come across as producers. It's such an annoying problem to overcome. The best music only. Okay, you can hardly hear anything there, can you? Just going to sync that up nicely so it sounds good. The best music only on Swan FM. Now, if only I could hear what is being said. This is where we use Neutron from Isotope, a fantastic plugin just for this. So let's go to uh, the track one here and go to my plugins. It's Isotope Neutron. There it is. It's going to appear on the voice. And uh, I'll get rid of presets for the moment, and I'll name this track Voice inside the Neutron plugin. You'll see it's Retina ready as well on your screen, so all looking nice and clean. I'm going to cross out of that, go onto the effects, and again in my effects rack, I'm going to go to uh, the Isotope Neutron there, and again I'll get another window here, get rid of the presets, and name this FX. Now what I can do is use something called masking here. You know when the effects or music masks what is being said? This is where we use a very clever thing called masking uh, and we select voice. Now we're going to see the voice on this display down here and on this display we will see the effects. Let's listen. The best music only on Swan FM. Now, as I was playing back, not only are you seeing the frequencies displayed on both tracks for your effects and for your voice, but you're also seeing their flashing uh, like little twinkle stars at Christmas time. You're seeing the conflicting EQ effects that are preventing the voice from being heard. Let's watch again. The best music only on Swan FM. So we can see a lot of bass and also around the mid-range 2000 to 4000 hertz, uh, there's a lot of conflict. Now we can take it a level even further by using the sensitivity and cranking it up towards high. And along here, next to the exclamation mark, you're going to see all of those frequencies that are causing a problem now. The best music only on Swan FM. Boom. These are the frequencies in your effect that are conflicting with the voice and making it hard to hear. Amazing, huh? But even better than that, if I now take this, this is my, remember this is the EQ for my effect, I can take the EQ for bass, I can see clearly here it's a problem, and I can inverse link if I like, meaning if I click that, when I drag this EQ down, it actually increases the EQ on my voiceover. So now I'm taking some bass out of my sound effect and adding it to the voice. The best music. Already you can hear that the bass is starting to overpower the effect, but let's go further and cut out some of these frequencies here. And I'm going to do this without even listening to the audio and see how it sounds now. The best music only on Swan FM. Now immediately I'm sure you can hear the difference. Let's uh, switch this effect on and off as I play back. The best music only on Swan FM. Now actually it wasn't switching on and off, so what I might need to do is go over to this track here and switch them both off. So let's switch both Neutron off on the top track and the bottom track and listen. The best music. And then switch Neutron on on the bottom and top track. The best music. 
So already you are hearing a dramatic difference just by playing with EQ, reducing the EQ that is conflicting with the voice. You can do it in a kind of double track mode here. And this is just scratching the surface of what the Neutron plugin from Isotope can do. It's also got multiple compressor chains here, an exciter and a transient shaper as well, which I will cover in a future video. But this plugin is a great starting point if you often find problems of getting the voiceover to get on top of a sound effect or music bed. I hope you find this handy and let me know how you get on in the comments to this video. There's a free trial and you can download it by clicking the link right now.